This is Jenny, and today I am out in my garage doing some experiments with this dragonfly glaze by DecoArt. This is a color changing top coat. It comes in different colors. Uh, this one is, it shifts from violet to blue to green. So what I'm going to do with this, I have experimented with this. I've used it as a top coat on two different paintings. I'll show you those in a second. But what I'm going to do today is use it as a base coat for a flower dip like Fiona Art does. Um, I'm hoping that it'll dry slightly clear and uh, the flower will stand out over a background that's uh, kind of an aqua color. Um, I'm going to do it on this and uh, we will see how that turns out. Uh, but when I have used it as a top coat, I did not like it. Um, when I've used it full strength as a top coat, this is what I got. Um, this is over a painting, a, a bug got in there. So I was going to, I'm going to have to, I was going to cut it up to make jewelry. Um, so I thought it would be good to experiment on. Unfortunately, I can't even use this for jewelry now, I don't think. Because uh, when you look at it straight on, you can kind of see the designs in there. But from either side, all you can see is that color shift, which I just don't like that. So, um, I also, so that's full strength, what it looks like over a pour. And then I also tried it way, way watered down. And I probably watered it down too much because you can barely see it. You probably can't see it at all in this video. Um, I'm going to try to get some still shots uh, that'll show the slight shimmer. And uh, I'm thinking I'm going to cover this in resin and it'll bring out the, the shimmer a little better. So we will see how that goes. Anyway. It's part of uh, filming outside. <laughs> so anyway, we will get to painting. I've got the paints mixed and uh, these are paints that have actually been sitting uh, in my kitchen for a while, for about two weeks. So um, they look good and um, I'll just go through them real quick. First of all, I just mixed this, uh, this shift, the dragonfly glaze, about one to one with Liquitex pouring medium. Um, it's, uh, I don't know if it's going to dry slightly clear or not. I really hope it does. Um, I've got a magenta, a beautiful magenta, a uh, cyan blue, and I'll put uh, my recipe, my pouring medium recipe and all the good stuff, brands of paint, in the video description for more information, but I want to keep this short. I got the uh, aqua aqua blue beautiful color I did put a drop of treadmill silicone in each color this is the diaza something or another purple I uh, need to learn to say that it's a dark dark beautiful purple this is a deep oops I didn't I don't know if that one was in the shot this is the purple a lot of jewel tones in this this is a deep turquoise, beautiful color. Uh, my favorite, favorite, favorite magical color from PBO, the iridescent green blue. So pretty. And I got a green gold from Liquitex, also a beautiful color. I love green gold, it's one of my favorite colors. I got a lime green. I just love all colors. Look how pretty this color is. I just love colors. I think there's something psychological when you're looking at uh, all these beautiful bright colors. Something happens in your brain that just make you happier. 
This is a pearl white. Very pretty. And I'm going to be just using tiny amounts of each of these. So I'm going to, instead of trying saran wrap, I'm going to dip a, another painting the same size, another canvas the same size over it. Um, and, you know, hey, maybe I'll end up with two paintings. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's weird. Look how it's uh, come, a, come away from the edges. I'm going to do some tilting of it, see if what happens. I'm not going to mess with uh, trying to get the sides covered perfectly because I'd like some of that background color to come through. Bye, sweetie. I'm going to do a little torching because of the silicone in there. I don't know. Come out, little cells. I like what's going on with the magenta. It's some, ooh, some cool things happening. Oh, hey, don't spill. Okay. I don't know if that'll dry clear. Uh, we shall see. If it does, that'll look super cool. Um, hopefully it won't fall off too much. But let's see about this one. Oops. That doesn't have as much, as much paint to tilt, so I'm going to leave it kind of right there in the middle. Okay, not wanting to react so much. I do want to get it to the edge a little bit. Alright, I am not ready to stop painting. That was uh, just too fast. So I'm going to also do a, because I've got a lot of this uh, dragonfly glaze, I'm going to do a tiny little open cut pour and see if uh, I get more cells that way. I know cells aren't everything, but I like them. All right, I'm going to take you in close so you can see up close what's happening there. Um, that was the top, the, the top one that pressed down. And I'm going to come back tomorrow morning. Hopefully they'll have dried some and show you what they look like dried. Here is the, can't tell if I'm, here's the bottom one. It's got some weird cells going on. Like look at that little right there, that green. 
iridescent green blue and uh, so it'd be very cool if those white spots ended up being clear really would be happy about that okay I'm gonna get these out of the way and get set up for a open cup pour I am back and I'm really excited about this pour um, I have really thinned down a lot that uh, dragonfly glaze with the Liquitex gloss varnish and a little bit of pouring medium um, so I'm going to cover this black canvas with this and do a and it looks white but I really feel like this one's going to dry clear um, I'm going to do a open cut pour with this all right I may need to mix some more I don't know here we go I'm gonna start this will be the first that comes out this iridescent green blue there we go and then I'm going to come in with some magenta it might make a little purple there it's floating then I'm going to come in with the aqua aqua blue there we go and try not to use too much paint and I'm going to come in with the lime green and some dark turquoise try not to float off the side here I'm gonna move it a little bit real pretty and it's kind of a yellow green so maybe it'll make a some kind of orange Let me try to get those off D deep turquoise and this Oh, that's a little thick. It's deep purple and green gold. Who knows? Who knows what this will? Okay, and again. There we go. So. It. Nice. Some cells coming up. Hope this camera angle is okay. You can see that happening. And I torched for a while because really what you're doing is you're warming up, warming up the paint. It's um and so that can take a while and uh, you got to just be patient a lot of people don't torch don't like to torch I do I love cells I think it's fun so okay but I feel like now I can tilt that sucker and I want to have negative space So, I'm going to tilt off some of those pretty, pretty magenta cells, unfortunately. Actually, may have to tilt off quite a bit. It's okay. 
that is really cool what's happening there with on the sides um, gonna add a little more of this so I can the same amount of paint. All right. I think I'm going to leave that. It's um if this turns out clear on the side, I think I'm going to love it. Um I really like the color mix over here. It's uh different from there to there. But uh we'll see how that goes. These cells may disintegrate. It's a, a strange consistency. This uh, gloss medium, I've never used it. I haven't tested this consistency. And um, so, you know, that's just always. But I'll show you what happens regardless tomorrow. Um, hopefully, we'll have a good idea tomorrow. Of whether, especially whether or not this is going to dry clear. Because <laughs> that's what I really want it to. So... Anyway, next thing I'm going to do is entirely clear, just gloss medium on a painting, open cut pour, and see what happens there. That probably won't be part of this video, but it's going to be my next pour, and so it will be my next video, and it will be an experiment. So I hope you will subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications. I'm trying for videos every Wednesday and Friday. So, but if you hit the bell, you'll be notified when I, um, you'll get like a little notification up in the top whenever I've posted a video. So, thank you everybody for all the awesome comments on that last uh, collaboration I did with Karen, which was so much fun. Uh, I've just been having a lot of fun reading your comments about how Karen and Anne Marie Ryderhoff have influenced your lives and your pouring and they sure have influenced me. So anyway, thank you. Y'all make this even more fun. So happy pouring. All right, so it is the next day and I am outside awkwardly holding this painting in the sun. It uh, is not dry yet. so. I do think that it will become more clear, but it's still very beautiful. Um, you see how it's it's dried in the corners a little bit. Take it under the. Let's see. Ah, ba da ba da ba da. It's a uh, so iridescent that. It's so iridescent, it literally hurts my eyes. So, there's that. Um, as you can see, it's still a little wet. Looks like there's going to be a little texture there. Uh, you can tell the sun just got a little less bright. So, there's that one. The two uh, dips. This is the bottom dip. Uh, it burns your eyes there's so much iridescence and it, it's just really is a flop it like disintegrated into nothing I don't know really what happened here but that's okay it'll um the dragonfly gla glaze is pretty cool looking but the composition is just like soup I don't know and then there's this one which I had less hope for this one than the other one but with a little cleaning up on the sides this is a cute little thing it's um, less paint on there and I think that's that's why you can see the really pretty sparkle uh, but so it makes a good background for a dip If it's used sparingly is my takeaway from that but uh, it looks like a Rorschach ink blot test so what do you see 
I see an iris, sort of a smushed iris. There's an eyeball in there. So, uh, anyway, I already said goodbye a little earlier, so uh, I won't repeat myself. But uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video.